I'm going to show you today how to make a template for your window so that you can make window covers. We're going to start using these items to do it. You're going to take two pieces of foil, make sure that they go all the way to each edge. The sun is in my eyes, so I apologize if I'm not viewing this correctly. And when you put this one in, you want to make sure that you can go down as far in there as you can and then press it deep into as far as you can on the sides. After you've done one piece, you'll tape it, you'll tape it like under here. And then you'll put up a second piece and then you can tape it to it. And make sure you get into all the corners. You might need to add some extra tape. And then use your pin and mark it. But be careful, like I did, I did, I pressed too hard and it cut it. So when you cut it out, make sure, see how I have two lines there? Make sure that you cut on the outside because it's always better to have it too big than it is too little and have to start over. And so there's many things that you can use for a template. You can use butcher paper, you can use um, painters, clear plastic, if it's thick enough or, or whatever. Um, there's no reason that you have to choose one above another, but this one fits in and it's quick and easy. You'll want to cut it out and you'll want to make sure that you have tape on both sides and that you don't crumple it any or it'll be too small. You can use this method, it, whether you're going to do reflectix or some type of cloth or whatever you're going to create. And you'll notice once I cut it out and handled it and everything, it became a little bit smaller. And uh, can you see that air gap on the top and the side? Part of it is due to the fact that I don't get it back exactly in the same spot, maybe. And, and you can move it around. But when you cut out your Reflectix or whatever you're going to cut out, make sure you cut it a tiny bit bigger around the edges. I've taped it down now and it's time to cut it out. You'll notice I left a tiny edge on the bottom. And when I cut this out, which is going to be very hard to do while holding a camera, I'm going to cut are a little tiny, tiny bit bigger. Can you see that? How I'm cutting it uh, just a little bit bigger. And I'm going to set this down now and then I'll pick it up and show it to you after I cut it. Now, I have already done my back windows, which you'll see on my other video that I'll try to link up in the corner if I can. And um, you'll see how I did the back ones. And this is the front ones for the sides. And I have something else that goes in across the windshield. Hey, you know what? This is a really good time to hit the like button. When YouTube sees engagement, either hitting one of the buttons or doing a comment, it is more apt to share my video with more people and that is much appreciated. Okay, I have the piece inside the window now and not all the way because I wanted to show you something. It looks like this is way too big, but watch when I push it in, it's okay. Now what you need to determine is if there's going to be another layer of cloth or, or tape or what, and if you have to count for it. You notice how I have a little air gap there and it seems a little big there. But look over here. If I just take and trim a tiny bit here and move it over, that'll take care of that air gap. And there's enough on this side to cover it. I might trim just a hairline around that but don't get too carried away with trimming until you've thought of all the angles of what you're adding on the other side, or this side rather. I live, I might leave the other side silver so that when I'm reflecting the sun in the daytime somewhere, but when I don't want it to look like somebody's in the van at night, 
I will have a different color on the other side, probably black, even though the rest of my van I use white. And you'll see why I use white in my other video. So here's a little tip about Reflectix that most people don't really realize. For it to be most effective, you need an air gap between it and the window. I'm not sure, but I think it's a quarter of an inch. And so in the daytime, I'm not caring so much about privacy as I'm caring about reflecting the sun, which I probably wouldn't do in the city with silver showing, but I would elsewhere. And so you see here, these wouldn't be the appropriate magnets. It's just the ones I happen to have. They're a little too big for this. And it doesn't matter if I have a tiny gap showing or whatever. Let me show you from the other side. You can see that I have an air gap there. And that's most helpful for reflecting the sun. There's my black Gorilla duct tape, and I have used it on one side of this. This is the side that will go out in the daytime when I'm like boondocking or whatever, want to reflect the sun away. But if I'm in the nighttime, if I'm somewhere where I don't want to be noticed, I will have my black side showing at nighttime so that you will think I have tinted windows and you won't notice. I finished putting on my Gorilla Heavy Duty Black duct tape, and that will be for night mode. The silver side will go out if I'm boondocking and want to reflect the sun away and the heat, but the black will only attract heat. Let me explain to you the differences in the front and back and how I used different colors and why. The black draws in the sun and the heat and makes it hotter inside. And so even though it might not, because of the reflectix, it might not make it hotter inside, it will make the window hotter, which in turn doesn't help at all. So the white repels the heat and it makes it quite a bit cooler. And a lot of people use black tint on their windows on their white van, and that only draws the heat. I don't want to draw the heat unless it would be summer, maybe I would. I mean, excuse me, winter, maybe I would. In the back, I have white perforated vinyl. Most people would choose black to match the tinted windows, but I don't want to attract the heat, so I'm using white. It cuts down on the heat. In the daytime, if you're next to me in the parking lot, you can't tell anything inside unless you walk up and put your nose right to the window, then you can see a little bit inside. But at night, you can see quite clearly if there's any light, like you're in a parking lot or something, it's open and you can see in there. So you do need something in the window. I have chosen to make my Reflectix in the back white heavy duty duct tape on both sides. One side is for decorating. It opens up my space when I have white windows and it makes it look bigger in there and not as dark. But on the outside, I also like the white because if you were trying to be nosy in the day or the night and you look through and my white reflectix is in there, when my white reflectix is in the window, you don't think that you're seeing inside. You think you're being blocked because either the white vinyl or you think maybe there's metal there instead of a window. If you have any questions I can answer, please put them below and I will try my best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching my video.